Hi friends, welcome to our online service. How are you? I'm excited to see all of you. What are you afraid of? Is it exams, darkness, lions? Today's lesson on courage will encourage you to face your fears. Let's get up for a time of dance and fun. But before that, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day that is before us. I pray that you may give courage to the children at home, that they may be able to face their fears. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Enjoy! and gentlemen so good to be with you again this is teacher Michelle coming to you from ICC studios and this month we've been talking about 
courage. And today I come to you with an amazing, amazing, inspiring story from the book of Judges, chapter 6 and 7, about a biblical character that I myself am so fond of and Yanni, he just inspires me so much and his name is Gideon. That's right, we're going to be talking about Gideon. Now, boys and girls, we know that Judges is set in a time when the Israelites had become so disobedient, yeah? And um, they had been given over to their enemies. You know, every time we walk away from the will of God, he gives us over to our enemies because, and, and we are assured that when God is with us, we are protected and preserved from any opposing forces, yeah? But if we choose to walk a different direction, God just leaves you to your enemies, right? So this is a time in the scriptures when the Israelites had disobeyed God and now they had been given over to their enemies and their enemies had plundered them. What this means is the enemies had destroyed their crops and taken all their valuables. And now they were hiding in caves. They were hiding in caves and really the situation amongst the Israelites was not exciting at all. It was a very devastating situation because they had um, their belongings had been taken away and they really had nothing to their name. And then the Lord appears to Gideon. Now, Gideon was such a kawaida guy, even the last born in his family. Very simple, just like you and I. And you know what, guys? God called him out and he appeared to him by an angel. I don't know how many of you guys have ever seen an angel, but I would love to see one. And the angel said to Gideon, you are a mighty man of valor. You are a mighty man. You are a mighty man and you are chosen of the Lord. And the angel told him that he would deliver the Israelites from their enemies. Now, boys and girls, I don't know if you can relate to this scenario, but I personally cannot, you know. Just being called, in fact, he was outside his um, parents' home and perhaps he was just cleaning around, doing his everyday chores. And then the angel appears and tells him, you are the one God has chosen. And he called him a mighty man of valor. And Gideon, I'm sure, looked at himself and he must have looked around like, are you talking to me? Yeah. And... Today we are learning about courage, which is our theme for this month, being about confronting our fears. And at that very moment, Gideon had a choice, either to reject what God was telling him or to have faith and to confront his fears. This young guy chose to believe in what the Lord was asking him to do. And the Lord gave him an instruction. And so he went and selected an army of Israelites, a great number of men. And interestingly, God tells him, these are too many people. You're not going to go to war with all these people. And now God begins to filter the number. And how does he do this? He begins by telling Gideon, first tell everyone who is afraid to go home. And a number of them leave. That was test number one. So a few are left and God tells him, now go to a river and let the men drink water. And, and um, he just told them, Kunyo ni maji, drink water. And they did. So some went down like this to the river and drank. And others took water in their hands and licked like dogs. And God told him, those ones who have licked, those are the ones you're going to go with. And they were 300 in number. A very small number compared to the enemies that they were going to fight. And Gideon wondered, how will the Lord give us the victory he has promised us with such a small number of men? But again, boys and girls, courage is confronting our fears. No matter how difficult a situation may seem, we need to trust in the God who has called us out and in his power to help us because it is not us in and of ourselves who get the victory but the victory has already been won for us on the cross so ours is just to obey instructions like Gideon God says do A do A God says do B do B God says do C and finally the victory shall be ours in Jesus name so I don't know what you could be facing today but let me tell you how this story ends so boys and girls they go 
to the enemy's camp and the instruction God had given Gideon is to have three things, yeah? And these three things were trumpets, jars, and torches. And boys and girls, they were to surround their enemies. And at Gideon's command, they were to blow a trumpet. And then they were to break the jars. Clunk, 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 clunk. And then they were to raise a torch. Boys and girls, when Gideon would say, let's go, they would do it. They would do it in, 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 in whatever order he asked them to do, right? And that confusion that was caused, imagine, made the enemies fight against each other. They did not even pull out any swords, but they were so confused because Gideon would say, raise the torch, and they would see light, and then they would break the jars, and then they would blow the trumpet and now they started fighting each other imagine they're on the same team but they're fighting each other they're fighting each other and they destroyed each other without even the the israelites having to fight them at all wow what a god of wisdom we serve and that is how gideon led the israelite armies to victory over their enemies boys and girls isn't this such a fantastic inspirational story this is one of the characters who I'm just jazzed by, totally jazzed by. So whatever it is, boys and girls, that you're looking at and you're like, this is such a big mountain for me. Would you remember Gideon? Would you remember his obedience? Would you remember how bold he was to confront his fears? Let's go to our memory verse. Hi, friends. Today's memory verse comes from the book of Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Let's say it together. Zechariah, chapter 4, verse 6. And it says, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Bye. Wow, boys and girls, that is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible, Zechariah 4, 6. Not by power, not by might, but by thy spirit, says the Lord. Everything you do, not by power, not by might, but by the spirit of the Lord. I want us to cram that verse this week, to memorize it and to meditate on it. So every time you're faced with a difficult situation, I want you to say, not by power, not by might, but by thy spirit. Oh, hallelujah. So I want us to also this week, boys and girls, I'm giving you an assignment. Write every challenge you may be facing right now. Yeah? Could you be afraid of corona? What could it be that's troubling you now? Do you have exams coming up? I know most of us have just opened school. Are you in a new class and you're finding it challenging? I want you to say to yourself every morning in the mirror, not by power, not by might, but by thy spirit, just like Gideon and the army of the Israelites took over their enemies. Boys and girls, it's time to give, time for money for Jesus. I know you guys are old enough it's now time to give not money for jesus anymore right we know it's time to give and the lord loves a cheerful giver so get mommy get daddy get your brother or your sister and the details for giving are on your screen now boys and girls I pray that you have been inspired by today's story and you have hope in our God that there is nothing that is too hard and no matter how fearful we may be, courage is confronting our fears and our God gives us the courage by his spirit. Yeah, so we will face those mountains this week, right? We will face those giants knowing that it is indeed by the spirit of the Lord. Thank you so much for giving me company this morning. I'm so delighted to have been with you talking about this amazing character, Gideon. And we'll continue to draw from this story and we'll continue to be inspired and motivated to keep on facing our fears in Jesus' name. So boys and girls, let us pray even as we conclude our lesson today. Heavenly Father, thank you Lord that you have taught us by your spirit today that courage is indeed facing our fears and you oh god give us as your children 
courage to face every obstacle, to face every challenge and to overcome every mountain. Just as Gideon and the Israelites did it, thank you that you are helping us to confront every fear that we have in this season. You are causing us to overcome even the challenge of Corona because you are our God and you are mighty to save and to heal and to deliver us. We thank you Lord and we praise you in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. And let's share in the words of the grace and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Bye boys and girls. Thank you for being here. God bless you.